Welcome to More Than Enough. I am Grace Engo, and today we're going to be talking about actualizing more than enough in your financial reality. Actualizing more than enough in your financial reality. Sometimes we think that having more than enough is just generating and creating more than enough. And yes, that is one of those possibilities. But what if there is another way that would allow you to start generating more than enough in every area of your life? What if you could generate more than enough in every area of your life? So in your health, in your business, in your relationships, in your body, what if more than enough is available? It's not just a looking at money, but it's looking at all of your life and every single area of your life beaming with more than enough. One tool that you can begin to use that will start to create more than enough in your reality. This topic of more than enough is not a linear topic. It's not like, okay, I offer a package out to the marketplace and wait for as many people to sign up for that product. There are other tools and possibilities available in creating your life, in creating your reality. There are things in this reality that are here waiting to contribute to you. What if everything contributes to more than enough in your life? So let's get to that tool. Let's get to that tool. I know um, I keep going in many different tangents, but the possibilities here are just infinite and so many. One of the ways to start creating more than enough is getting out of judgment of your body. Getting out of judgment of your body. So what does that have to do with having more than enough, more than enough money? Our bodies are co-creators with us. Our bodies create with us. And if you are in a space of judgment, in a space of hating your body, in a space of... Um, and judging your body for the way it looks, your shape, your size. Um, if you come from a space of lack in your body, how are you able to create and generate more? If you are creating lack in your body, how are you able to generate and create more? Yes, you can force more, but is it sustainable? Is it from a space of joy? Is it from a space of ease? Does it invite more possibilities? Coming to a space of nurturing and caring and honoring your body invites a different possibility. It invites other people to give you money. It invites more possibilities in your life. More people are connected to you and open to receiving from you and it's completely different when you completely when you've been around people who are in intense judgment of their body they are not confident it's just like an icky energy that's there and you don't sometimes really want to be around that energy versus someone who um, is not is not in judgment, has a nurturing uh, perspective about their body, has a deep caring about their body, honors their body. And this space really begins to invite so many possibilities once you get out of judgment of your body. Get out of judgment of your body. Stop judging your body for the shape it is. Stop judging your body for the lumps and the rolls. Your body is a gift. Your body is here to contribute to you and you can tap into what your body would like to contribute to you once you let go of the judgment. Once you stop making your body wrong. Once you allow your body to be seen for the gift that it is desiring. 
So if you are looking to create more than enough, start looking at all the places where you judge your body. Don't bypass this exercise. Take a look at are those judgments really yours? Sometimes people project things onto our bodies. We start to buy them as real and true and make them real, real and true when those judgments don't even belong to us. Start to communicate with your body, nurturing it, asking your body what it requires. Does it require a nap? Does it require rest? Does it require more massages? Does it require more movement? Does it require more water? Uh, does it require uh, clothes that are nurturing? Uh, does it require more space? What is that that your body requires? Start having conversations with your body. From that space, you will begin to receive awareness of how your body can contribute to your creations and what you are creating. And again, this is not linear. It's not saying that once you do this, you'll, your body will say, you know, do this and that. You may have, that may be your experience, but it could be completely different. It can be you just showing up in the space of a client um, that you're working with or uh, new people that you'd like to work with and they instantly connect with you and they instantly um, want to receive what you have to offer. So play in that space, let go of the judgments and start building that muscle of anytime you judge your, your body, release and let go those judgments of your body. Your body is a gift. Thank you so much for watching. I am grateful for you. Go to www.createwithease.com for more tools and possibilities available for creating your financial reality.